So this question says, what percentage of 300 is 75? So there's a couple ways to solve this. One way is through translation or the translation strategy, which is to convert each part of this sentence into its mathematical equivalent. What percentage would translate into X over 100? Of means times, 300 is what it is, is means equals, and then of course we have 75. So we could solve that. I could solve that by multiplying by this 300. I have 300 X over 100 equals 75. I can then simplify this by crossing out zeros, leaving me with 3x equals 75, and then dividing both sides by 3, I'd have x is equal to 25. So that would be my answer. Another way to solve this, however, is through a strategy called plug-in answers, in which case I would say add that to the calculator, using your calculator, right? Well, we're just going through each answer choice. We know the, choice, the answer is A by this point. But let's say you decided to use this second strategy instead of the first strategy. You can go to your calculator, the question is asking what percentage of 300, you can go to your calculator and say, well, you know, what is 0 0.25 times 300? Because anytime we're doing math with percentages, we always convert it to the decimal form, right? And then of course here you would equal 75 and that's how you would know that choice A was correct. Whereas here, for instance, you say, well, 0 0.5 times 300, okay, that does not equal 75 and that's how you would know that that is incorrect. So this is a good strategy. Plug-in answers is always a good one to go to if you need to. Translation is also a great strategy if you know how to do it. Um, but I wanted to present two different ways to solve this. So you can choose which one you like best.